Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Footies Friday. This is actually the fourth Friday of Footies as we are in this promo. And we are in Batch 2. The second week of Batch 2 starts off today, of course. These cards, all the team of the seasons that have been in packs for the past week will still be in packs one more week. No new cards should be jumping into packs today unless EA does do something crazy, which we are not expecting. So again, that's not the focal point of the content today. It's gonna be SBCs and objectives that are really gonna make today interesting on FIFA. There's still gonna be market movements with preview packs. I wanna talk about some of the panic selling I think you can expect to see. And um, of course, even some of the rumors around what's going on and how this messy transfer situation Situation and people thinking Messi could get an end of an era card, how that could impact the market on this game. It's actually already impacting some of Messi's cards right now. So we'll talk about that again, as that has been the insanely incredible out of this world news that we were not expecting to hear yesterday about the Messi potential transfer, not playing at Barcelona anymore. If there's ever an end of an era card that is deserved, it would be for Messi. So we'll talk about that a little bit in this video too. But first things first, we have some pack code to talk about. I think this is going to be an SBC that we see today. 90 plus rated players from footy's team two. It's five times 90 plus pack from footy's team two. So basically what this reminds me of is the 88 times five from Footy's Batch 1 that was locked to those Batch 1 players. This one seems to be locked onto Batch 2, and uh, it's five of those players. So 90 plus times five. I mean, this is going to be a pretty nice pack. You're probably going to have some 93, 94 rated cards. It's going to be basically all team of the season cards, maybe a couple of the future stars and some of the foot birthdays like Modric and Ansu Fati that are in packs right now uh, could be thrown into this pack as well. The 88 plus times five, if you guys remember, that was released a couple weeks ago was the guaranteed Conte pack uh, because what if Conte was showing up in like all of those packs? Now, I don't know who that's going to be for this one, but there's definitely going to be a lot of cards that come up multiple times, but this is going to be a fun pack to try again to try to hit a Neymar a Varane, a Messi, a Ronaldo, an Mbappe. This is going to be a pack that I think a lot of people will do. And since there's only one type, it is not a preview pack and a normal pack because those have to be added in with different codes. This is just a normal pack. I believe this is going to be an SBC that would drop today. Now, how much would this cost? We had the 88 plus times five as an 86 rated squad. It costed about 140,000 coins. But the way they've been doing SBCs recently with all this low rated squads and the rare golds and all this stuff, kind of like the 88 or the 85 times 10. I wonder if they'll do this kind of thing again, where they'll have multiple squads, even though it seems quote unquote cheap. If they do like an 80, 82, 83, and an 84 rated squad. Um, honestly, EA Sports, if you're doing this, just drop it as an 84, 85 or an 86 rated squad because that fodder is a great price right now. And I don't like doing four squads. I'd rather just do one or two. So that's my opinion on this pack. But I do think that it will drop today. Um, some people were talking about on Twitter how we had an 89 plus times five that was added to the code last year around this time that was never actually dropped in the game. But since we've had the 88 plus times five this year for footies team one, and this is a footies team two specific pack, I don't think we'll have another situation like that. But I think it's coming today. If it doesn't come today on Friday, then definitely tomorrow and Saturday. But since it is in the code tonight, I would really, really expect to see this on Friday as a part of the content today. Now, of course, also part of the content today is an SBC that we are looking forward to, the winner of the first ever trait upgrade footies SBC. So it'll be footies award winner, um, either um, Holland or Vardy. So both those cards are three star, three star, high, high with not very many traits. So we will get a winner between Holland and Vardy today. Hopefully it's Holland. I think he is maybe going to win the vote. I also think he has maybe a slight edge because he is a uh, cover star, if you will, and is in a lot of the graphic stuff for FIFA 21. So I think that Holland is going to end up winning that today. Keep an eye on some of your Borussia Dortmund links. Maybe like that Todd Sancho would be an interesting card. They maybe have a little bit of extra hype today. If the Holland is well-priced, they priced the Sané really well earlier this week from the Wednesday vote. So we will see how they price the Holland. So Holland SBC today and 85, or sorry, the 90 plus times five. 
I don't know if we'll get a footy's favorite SBC along with that. There's definitely a potential that we could. We've had the transfer to Pi. Um, we have had the Dybala, which I actually just completed that SBC yesterday. Um, and then we've had the Daniel James. Daniel James is going to be going away. 85 to 90 upgrades going away. A lot. Even these. Wow. The footy's ultimate champions upgrades are going away as well. So I don't know if these will be re-released. I hope it is. Uh, so some of these SBCs that are going away today and Friday, like the Champions upgrades, they might re-release those as well. I think that needs to be re-released, EA Sports, if I'm being honest here. Those SBCs need to be re-upped because right now we're getting a lot of reds with the extra week in League Objectives. And yeah, we need to have that. So that's my opinion on those. We'll see if that happens or not. But um, that is something to kind of watch out for today. Probably uh, we've had we've had a January favorite. I don't know if we've had like a February favorite footy's favorite yet unless i missed it so maybe a february footy's favorite um some people are saying like el sharawi is something that we could see i still don't know if they're going to drop more bundesliga players to kind of coincide with that bundesliga weekend league objectives that we have um but one thing i would also expect is a new objective card a new footy's favorite in objectives now it's not going to be i don't believe it is going to be either a kanji uh, sorry, Amavi or Deneo. This has six days left on it. So I don't think we'll get one of these uh, like we had the Pina Monte last week. I think it is just going to be some sort of um, footy's favorite card will be in objectives today. We'll see what that is if it's League One related uh, or if it is Bundesliga related or maybe it's just, ju just something completely different. So I would expect an objective card today as well. That'd be 100% something to keep an eye out for. Uh, and also, I think this is kind of like last call of draft tokens, man. I know I remind you guys yesterday, but stock up on some of these draft tokens. Today might be a great time to do that with the preview packs that are going to be dropped today on FIFA. With that supply, it's going to be coming out. Some of those cards could drop. Not that non not that non rares are expensive, but of course, they'll be very, very cheap to attain on bid. 350 coins, basically discard. Rares will probably drop today as well as people will be focused on the new SBCs unless that 85 times 90 does require rares, I would expect to see some of these rare cards on the market that have been inflated. Now they have dropped off, but they are really inflated right now, even they're up a bit. 2.3, 2.4K for rare golds is definitely up. I would expect these to drop a little bit today with that supply. Um, and also one thing I wanna talk about today is all the cards that are in packs. Um, I, I do suspect that there could be some decent amount of panic selling today on cards that are in packs now speaking of that fodder right let's go back and talk about this for a second and along with this panic selling a lot of the fodder that is not low tier is just getting so cheap 85s 8k 86s 11,000 coins you can basically for this for um 15,000 coins you can buy an 88 rated card and that is usually cheap for 86s again this is the way they've just kind of been structuring sbcs recently is it's all about the low tier fodder I do expect this stuff to drop today with supply, but 85 times 10s, people are still going to be out crafting those. If that 90 plus times five that is in the code released today uh, does require low tier squads as well, like 82, 83, 84, you're probably going to see some of these cards maintain their higher price. Uh, but I wouldn't expect anything crazy today, in complete honesty, unless they drop something out of the blue that we're not expecting. We, we already have a footies team to player pick, which really I feel like has been overlooked with that 85 times 10 grind just being the place to be. But let's talk about panic selling. Panic selling, okay? Now, first things first, last week, I'm going to show you just the kind of a little bit of a throwback to, to actually not last week, but two weeks ago. This was the second week of batch one when it was the La Liga Weekend League. This is a graph of Ferland Mendy. He was 112,000 coins, dropped all the way down. And right at that content drop, there's a combination of two things here, panic selling. And the second thing was actual supply from preview packs that were open in that first 30 minutes um, on the Friday. Cause people again are gonna log on to the game today, 6 p.m. on Friday. Um, people that are using Bundesliga cards in their weekend league, I would, I would seriously watch out for some panic selling on those Bundesliga cards that are very popular. I would also watch out for panic selling on some of these big time team and season cards that are in packs that are just very meta that a lot of people like to use, right? This messy 745k, he is up a lot from yesterday. Uh, Mbappe, I bought before rewards last night at 1.12. He is up to 1.28 
Uh, Ronaldo was in the 1.17 range, I believe, and I can't find him right now. Uh, but he is back up a lot. Yeah, 1.3 mil. De Young was 230. He's now 280. It's not just the Bundesliga cards, but I would seriously watch some of the Bundesliga ones today, like a Sancho, who's uh, 384, a Goretzka, right? Um, so watch some of these cards that are just so valuable for people, like Footy's, um, or sorry, Foot Birthday Ferland Mendy was during the La Liga Weekend League. He's going to have that little bit of panic selling. And if you see this movement before 6 p.m. where there is some panic selling, that 100% would be a time where you can pick up on some stuff, specifically these cards that are out of packs, right? I really keep a watch on some of these uh, that are out of packs, as we've been talking about consistently. Now, one thing I'm very interested in is, is this Lionel Messi. So some people have been talking about an end of an era Lionel Messi, 1.42 mil, and then there's like some 149s. I'm really curious with this card. Because yes, Lionel Messi could get an end of an era SBC, but before some sort of transfer is decided and before something is like set in stone, I know we've had a lot of the hype around Messi. This car went up a nice bit on Thursday with rewards. He was in the 1.5s. And earlier tonight, he was down in the 1.4 lows where he is right now. Um, I'm kind of interested in this Summer Stars Messi card. I don't know if any of this panic selling is just brought on because people think Summer Stars are going to be in packs today, which they're not. Uh, or if people think Messi is going to get an end of an era card. Um, but if an end of an era Messi card does come out, uh, it probably won't be right away unless we get some sort of crazy news that Messi is officially transferring. So I'm just keeping an eye on this Messi because right now, you know, there's only there's one card at 1.42 mil. If I would catch a 1.4 flat, I might buy him, try them out because I've not used this 99 Messi yet this year. And uh, yeah, so that's one thing I'd watch out for. Now, could we get a 99 rated Messi? Um, I think it'd be incredible. I think it'd be incredible. And I want to show you a little concept of a Messi that we could get. I think this would be fantastic if we if they dropped a card like this. Also, what would be fantastic is a player pick, right? A Ramos end of an era kind of situation with the center back or the right back card. Kind of how we had like the flashback Ronaldo earlier this year. And how on that picture of Sergio Ramos that was a right back version, it was a younger version of him. I would love to see like a center forward Messi with the beard, kind of like the mo more recent one. And then maybe a right wing Messi, or this could be vice versa, that is a little bit of younger years, right? Give him give him the, a Barcelona dynamic or the white jersey dynamic, whatever you have to do EA Sports. Make them both 99 rated, make their stats pretty similar, and just make a position, a player pick for the position one. I think that'd be insane. If they were to do this, of course, this is, of course, a huge for media, huge for Messi, huge for the world of football. Um, and if there's ever an end of an era SBC, that is due. Ramos was definitely due one. But this is like the ultimate end of an era if it actually does come true. So this is just one thing we're going to be following. Again, people love playing with Messi in FIFA, right? People love playing with Messi. And whatever happens with this situation is going to be fun to watch. That Messi at 142 got bought. But... Um, it's going to be fun to watch. So I just think that there's a lot of people on FIFA that like to use Messi's cards, especially this one. I know he's not as overpowered as he has been in the fa in the past. FIFA's, um, it doesn't fit in the meta that that great because he does not have five star skills. But if they were to work with the uh, the work rates here, release like a high a high low or a high medium Messi, if they gave him five star skills and a five star weak foot on that end of an era, I mean the potential for this SBC would be incredible. And they went pretty much all out with Sergio Ramos. So I would like to see them go out with a Messi too. Now, again, this is all speculation. We don't know if it's going to happen or not, but something to kind of keep in mind today as you are looking on the market. And I'm not even today, but as we head into the next few weeks. So again, watch out on some of these TOTS cards though. Again, I, I want to point out this graph that we saw from the Mendy card. I do think that we're going to see some panic selling today, especially as people are going to remember, hey, there's going to be supply today. There's going to be prices dropping because these TOTS cards are going to be impact but if the content isn't super duper insane you know you're probably going to see people buy cards right back up that they need to finish their weekend leagues especially bonus league items depending on the content that is dropped today and and i do think you will see some buyback on the market so again some of these team of the season cards even a guy like messi right who's in the headlines right now who's got a lot of attention his card is this card was 650k uh just like 24 hours ago right before rewards now he's up to 739,000 coins. People are people are just using the high players, right? Messi's name is in the news. They want to use him in FIFA. So that is very, very interesting. We'll keep an eye on all of that. I'll be live today on Twitch. Link down below in the description. We'll be checking out the content as it does come out. 
and we'll be uh, seeing how much fun there is to have on a FIFA on this Friday. It's Again, it feels kind of weird because it's like a promo Friday, but the cards are going to stay in packs. We probably won't have a new vote today, but it's all going to come down to what SBC's EA release um, and what objectives that they release as well. We might be getting into like the February time frame. Again, I don't know what cards came out during February. Actually, I wanted to check one. Hang with me here one second. I wanted to check one card that came out um, during February. Some people were saying Elsha uh, might be a card that could get a footies. When did this drop? This dropped in February, February 16th. So Elsha uh, could be a card that they dropped today. Imagine this guy getting a footies, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. If they made him 5-5, five, five, he's got finesse shot, flare trait. And uh, man, if you make this like 95 rated, that would be a pretty disgusting card. So again, you'll be you'll have opportunities if an SBC drops today, if it's really hype, really cool card, what would go up in the case of an L shot dropping? Locatelli. Uh definitely your um Spinazzola card. That's literally a perfect link to an L shot if he were to drop. So look, Locatelli, Spinazzola, keep an eye on some of your Italian, some of your Serie A links, maybe some of your Italian icons. That's the kind of stuff you could you could kind of craft, not craft, but watch out on, today on the market as well. So uh, that's kind of what I'm expecting for content today, boys. It is a Friday, but it's, again, going to have to be carried by the SBC and objective content out there in FIFA today. So hopefully that 90 plus times five, that's the big key today. Hopefully that's a very well-priced SBC. I've got some fodder saved up for it. I finished Dybala yesterday. I don't believe that I'm going to actually end up doing Ronaldinho. I talked about it in last night's vid, but it's just too much of a grind. And we feel like the 85 times 10 has been slightly nerfed. Um, slightly, not a ton, but slightly nerfed. So just seeing these, how they've been done over the past few days, I'll probably craft a few more, but I've also got 1.7 million coins and I want a full send for batch three for the next two weeks after that as well, at least for the first week of that and make sure that we have enough coins to be doing upgrade packs for when summer stars, path to glories, and maybe even some tots and team of the years are back in packs. So I'm probably going to cool it down with some of these 85 times tens just because they don't seem to be as cracked as they were before. But that's the video for today, dudes. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.